Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to L.A. Noir. Last time, there was a scandal we helped that we caused and people didn't like, especially our boy Roy. So, we're going to do a different set area now. Game, I'll let you take it away now. Let's look at my... Glad you guys like this place. Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phil, can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Mm -hmm. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! I would probably say this guy may be one of my fa that's my favorite partner of the four, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down in one round. I didn't want to arrest him. That's a good idea, too. I've always hated these exits, though, because I always get confused. Are you drunk, Mister? All right. And this is our car. You drive. We're going to start over the case bonds, of course. Fine. Where are we headed? Take me away, Rusty. Oh, yeah, we don't drive this car yet. How long have you been working arson? We going to do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Feeling down, hot chef? Need a buddy? I'll look somewhere else. I mean, he kind of talks like me. <laughs> Alright, so what do we have here at the Stefan Stephens? I know a couple Stephens. Huh. Rip House. There isn't much left. There never is, if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in your face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah, Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. <laughs> no offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing we ever won in their lives. Didn't come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. Lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Word is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. I'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. You know what? Let's just go talk straight to Stephens. Mr. Stephens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Go on, Stephens. 
you were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. Huh. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Gulliver's Travels? <laughs> Alright, tell me some truths. A travel competition? Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stebbins? A weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. That's pretty truthful, but that would... But wait. Did you enter any kind of competition? My wife filled in a flyer. The lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. Mm -hmm. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. That's very fishy. We're gonna doubt this though. Everyone else is selling. But you're the holdout, aren't you? I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now my house is the center lot. I know you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right. We like 100%ing things here, but pretty depressing like Cole you can run all right we're gonna talk to R and I about the, the fun I feel like something's not right about that Phelps one two four seven how can I help detective I need information on the suburban redevelopment fund Detective, just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thank you. That'll be one of the places we'll be checking out. If something's not right about that. That's too coincidental, but you're going to remember if you've followed it along so far, there is a news that we've talked about that does with this case. Can you drive to this one? So where do you want to go? <laughs> Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? Yeah. And we got both of them? I mean, it's a little... <laughs> There's no one even there, officer. Hi, Albert. We've caught this case. Hey, Biggs. We... You have a pardon? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Mm. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of art. Family of four found dead in their beds. Heater explosion. Hey, another one? Looks that way. Insta Heat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month to go back. Take a look around the yard. See what you can find. His model seems a little bit off, and it's so like it's bothering me. Now, you're gonna stick it out, Cole. We're gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer, mother, father, and two kids, all in bed from the looks of it. Well, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater. Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? 
This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete now before the department gets wind of it. I'm in arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. <sighs> but you're a good case man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. Is anybody going to ever question how they figured this out? That he did what he wanted? How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? That's yeah, fair. Alright. We need to find one clue. I believe this is it. Hey, Biggs! Is this significant? Regulator Val. Good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor. Detective Phelps, can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere. But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Phelps, the guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. <gasps> Hurry, you can still catch him. That guy looks familiar, doesn't he? LAPD! We've got I'm an ID on you, Firebug. Stop right there! Oh, so close to tackling him. There we go. Oh, and up. There we go. He's pretty easy. What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. You're a naughty boy, aren't you, Herbert? Hmm. I keep myself to myself. That's different. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Me too. Will do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, Detective. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. They're house fires, Cole. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm going to make this case. I'm going to rub the department's nose in it. Help me. Or stay out of my way. You got it? The hut's coming to us. We finally got to the place, but it took it long enough. So we're gonna go with the Gulf we're gonna go to Gulf Travelers now. How far away might I have to go? That's on the other side of the freaking map, isn't it? Uh, actually not really. I'll see you guys there. I said see you there. I almost didn't press that fast enough. Oops. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? All right, so there's... Here they are. Stephens. 
And then Stefan's and, uh... Okay, what is the other per Or Sawyer. No? I don't remember the other family. I thought it was Sawyer. Yeah. Sawyer family. Rosewood Avenue. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of L.A. Seems legit. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. Good point. But what the concept? I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. Mm. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. Doubt. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky. Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Oh. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. <laughs> you can drive. All right, let's go find exactly the redevelopment. Where exactly are we going? Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address? Hey, what else do we have? Great partners must think alike. Or... I mean, we've noticed every single one of his partners starts very cold or stays cold for the most part. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. It's an interesting name, but... There's literally nothing here. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. But... Alright. Where to? Wait. I don't have access to the... The fire... Station. What is that? Huh. There's a small... Actually... Oh, here, there is a small note we can grab. It has no significance. We just gotta find it real quick. There it is. So Elysian Fields builds the houses while the Suburban Redevelopment Fund foots the bill. Hmm. Oh, you followed me. I'm kind of shocked. Okay, I'm a bit confused. You're behind the wheel. Because we're supposed to go to the... Fire station. And... You can drive. So where do you want to go? I don't... Huh. I can't do anything. Be right back. Alright, so I just realized something. I'm dumb. No wonder I have I can't unlock it yet. I need to go back to the first house. Because there's one part 
It was another clue I completely whiffed on. And I'm glad the game is very forgiving in this case. If the game will do it. Um, let's see. There we go. Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. Alright. Lee says we should visit at the fire station 32. I don't know how Who exactly is this guy thing? Lynch. Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut and you'll learn something about fires. I have to try? That's weird. I don't like that. Okay, okay. Now we have that. And of course, we have to drive. So, for real, we'll tell see that. I still don't get why I couldn't just let him drive here. Get it? Dang it. I literally just stopped the alarm because I got so sick of hearing it. But. I don't know why I had to drive to engine company number 32. We came as soon as we could. D Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. Okay, it's the box of the soul. This is the heater from the Sawyer fire out. Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. Hey, that's my birthday. It's been 47. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Well, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps, you're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Oh, come on. All right. So, obviously the gas is going to be here. I don't know the difference between these two right offhand. No. No. Damn it, Phelps. Good. Your regulator's in position. Okay, so I actually was right. Oh, wait. Is that the balloon? Uh. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Oh, I thought this is, they were going to put a balloon on this one. Okay. Oh, it's a button. Light your yeah. pilot and turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left to turn up. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. All right, so we're making progress. Did you drop something? No. You're behind the wheel. So take me to Insta Heat Fine. Factory. Where are we at? Not the first case we dealt with Insta Heat. Show? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. At least you know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. 
loves fire. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. 